and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code PULA at checkout for 20% off your order. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, we are in a weird state, so I'm going to be talking about the market. Obviously, it's in a weird state because we are right before Thanksgiving, but we are right after most of you. Like, I, I like to call that Madden Limbo. That is my term, if you guys already know that. We're in that state where, like, things are cheap, but we fear they could get cheaper. Now, one specific focus of this video is going to be Redux cards. And them specifically, I don't think they could really be impacted by most... Not most here, by the uh, Thanksgiving promo as much. Mo the Redux players are mostly affected by two things: the change sets for their overall, and obviously the new house rules and a new series update. Which we don't have a new series update for a while. The house rules in place right now, and like I said, exchange set that would be another series thing too. Now the thing with the house rules is right, people aren't even done yet. Like this takes a while. Most people probably start finishing up about. Within the next three days, let's probably start finishing this up. So that is when you can expect a lot of the Redux players to come onto the market. And remember, they are auctionable, which kind of excites me because even if I pull something bad, I could sell it and then I can also go buy one because the prices are obviously going to come down because hundreds of people are going to be pulling them. So that does excite me. I'm going to go over to them now to show you guys the prices. I'd probably wait though when it comes to buying them. I'm going to show you guys the prices now and what I think they could really settle in at depending on how things really strike. But if enough people play this, they should come down quite a bit. But before we get into the video, guys, be sure to go down below, hit that subscribe button, turn that noti bell. And guys, you guys freaking killed it yesterday. The first day I said you guys can't get 100 likes in a flashback video, you guys did it. The second day I said you guys can't get 300 likes, you guys did it. Guys, guys, where's that energy? Where is that energy on a daily basis? I want to see this from now on. Like, you guys can't just go back. You can't go back to getting me 100 likes. You guys got 300 likes yesterday. Everyone who liked yesterday, everyone watching this video, new people, everyone, you should like the video. And guys, I challenge you, can you guys get 400 likes today? So you better start liking now, because I'm telling you, if the first viewers that watch this don't start liking the video, we'll never get to 400. So you, everyone watching better start now and do your part. Guys, if you guys hit 400, I'll go crazy. And then we'll keep going up. Let's see how far we can do this, because you guys have been killing it. I couldn't believe it. I was in shock. I literally start my video, and I guess the first 100 people that like, well, watch me to like the video instantly, my likes just flew up right away. Let's see if you guys can make that happen. It's honestly an awesome feeling when the videos do that, guys. So hopefully you guys can get that done. Now, let's get into the video. Let's go over to the auction block. Again, I kind of cut out the lower filters for this kind of vi video at this point because I can't really see the point. And yes, I was searching for Evan Ingram. I want to power his ass up to an 89 because at an 89 overall, it doesn't cost too much. And he will have like an 87 speed, which is insanely fast for a tight end. So I kind of want to get that. So let's start in this range right here. Now, obviously, this range is important for multiple things, including training players to use i don't really the only thing i find interesting in this like filter anymore is maybe some base leads that you could have hold on to for power-ups like zach martin mccall hardman's great jalen ramsey mahomes now i think mahomes is going up in price and that's probably a, an effect of the fact that people have pretty much assumed that mahomes will get a thanksgiving card i'm one of those but i have a power pass and i will just use it if that is the case and there is a mahomes i need to get Again, I mean, he kind of, does he have to get a card? I think so. I think we're at that point where he has to get a card. So, if you know base leads that are supposed to be getting a card soon, I, I'd recommend picking up their base leads because they are going to go up in price, especially at this point in the game because there's not that many of them. People aren't exactly, you know, it's not, there's not many on the market like there used to be. People are holding on to them for power-ups at this point. Probably people have locked into power-ups already, so I'd recommend you guys start picking those up. Now, the 88s, 89s. It's just, it's unreal to think that I, I used to click on this filter and they used to be above 120k. It has been cut damn near in half, if not exactly in half. Brady's another guy that probably get a, he'll probably get a card soon, but the issue with Brady, the stats are never great. So I can't really recommend you guys go out of your way to get him because his stats are never great. So people are never, he's never flashy, right? He's never that fast guy, that throw power, none of that. So people, I can't really think people will actually go for him. Now, Khalil Mack is a guy that when he gets his next card, probably pretty expensive but it's basically it's kind of at that point where that's kind of where you'd want it at so i can't exactly i don't think it's like it's not too cheap but it's not it's not expensive either it's like right in between good buy price i wouldn't i think that it could come down some more but again if he does get his card in the near future which he got one for kickoff i can't anticipate that Mack will be getting one in the near future it can't be much longer before they make him the best outside linebacker in the game he has been doing pretty good in real life a lot of low a lot of low legends too that you guys can pick up quite honestly a lot of good ones like marcus allen strahan those guys are still really really good 
although they're past their primes of when they were like the top players in Madden. But for the price that they're at, they're really not that bad. I still, people still use Strahan. He still feast on me. You know, it, it's just how the game plays. Going to the 1991s, let's see what we got. It's actually really cheap. Flashbacks are obviously going to be at this price no matter what. But the Legends, Anthony Munoz for 130k. Wow. Wow. That is cheap. I bought this card for like 180 a few weeks ago. Well, that came down a lot. Let's see what else is affected here. Phillip Rivers is obviously really cheap because he's ass. Travis Kelsey. Things are so Chad and Sharp. Oh, wow. I mean, is it? Should I, should I buy one of these cards? Like, I don't even know. Compare for that Kittle. I mean, I can honestly use I think I'm going to use Engram, though. I think that's the move for me. Everything's seriously cheap right now, guys. Brian Erlacher. Shannon Sharp. Rams actually still... I got to sell my Rams. I got to do those solo challenges. I don't know why. I have to go play the solo challenges at some point. You know what it is? Every time I think I'm going to play the solo, something comes out. House rules is out. Okay. Videos. Promo. There's always something in why I can't play those solo challenges. I have to do it. I have to get my free Rams so I can sell this one and make my coins back. And then obviously these cards are a little bit on the newer side, so these aren't going to be down too much yet, like Minka Fitzpatrick. I don't even know what the new power-up cards are going for, honestly. Minka is 490. Not new power-ups, new Team of the Weeks. Let's actually filter this out by Team of the Week to go see them. I have not actually checked them out yet. I have, like, I haven't seen their card art and stuff. Obviously, I made the video yesterday, but I've not got a chance to really look at them. Derek Henry is actually pretty cheap, 194. Stats aren't great. I literally, guys, I don't know if you watched the video yesterday. I, I literally predicted his stats. I was like, probably an 88 speed max, 87 excel. I literally said really high carrying, low catching, bad elusiveness, almost 90 truck, too bad break tackle. I I predicted a lot of the stats. And then look, before we get to make a Fitzpatrick, I haven't seen his card yet. I said he would have like an 86, 87 speed with like an 87, 88 zone. And then he'd have like an 85 hit power. I said something like in those ranges. And I did say that depending on how close his zone was to 90 would depend if his cards good so if it's like an 88 he can get the threshold with lockdown and powered up but if it's like a below an 86 it'll be kind of an issue so if it's above an 88 it's useful let's see and he's got 89 speed okay i said 88 so he was one speed off i said 88 zone and i said about 85 hit power i pretty much i predicted this card yesterday what the stats would look like and it's pretty much what i said now with the zone being there he's gonna be a pretty great card it's the hit power just kind of suck but his man is great now so again if you power this card up and you lock down you put john madden on him he could get the man zone and every threshold so his card actually could be really really amazing if you guys don't mind the hit power and then christian kirk obviously but he's probably the next tier right which is the tier we're gonna look at reduxes all right let's look at this christian kirk real quick 91 speed yeah i kind of envisioned this i said he'd have like i said he'd have like probably 91 speed ish but then i said his catch would be like 86 87 across the board and i said maybe his catch stat itself would be high and then his route running would be high 80s i didn't think one of them would get in the 90s but they did Cards okay. If you look at Tory Holt, Tory Holt blows him away. Uh, Tyree Kill. Obviously, Tyree Kill is not going to win because Tyree Kill is. He's good at like three things jumping speed and deep route running. He's not meant for the other stuff. So, obviously, he's always going to lose. Now, let's go to the Redux cards. That's what I really care about here. I was going to talking about these Redux cards. We got Matt Ryan at 260. So, you can already tell they're down because Le'Veon Bell and Alvin Kamara are in the 400 to 500k range, which they used to be like 900k. They came down fast. I would love to pick up one of these cards, but I've been advised otherwise. I know it'd be a waste of money, but I really love these two guys in real life. Calvin Johnson in the 500k range. People have been asking, like, people, when he was getting pulled for, like, 900k, someone asked me, should I sell him? And I was like, you should definitely sell him. Like, Brian Dawkins is better, a quarter of the price. It's just, there's really no debate. Calvin, he was a great idea. He's a great, con he's a fun concept, but he's not the guy that I want on my ultimate team. I would love Andrew Luck. If Andrew Luck gets, like, 400k, I'd probably pick him up. The only issue is that I think a new quarterback's coming soon, so I've been really hesitant to actually pick up new players. Gronkowski's almost in the 500 range, but looking at him, I don't really think I want him anymore. Kind of got over him. Michael Vick, he's, I've seen him for 500, so him being at this price, I really wouldn't buy that. Now, guys, remember, the Redux cards are currently coming down now. My my prediction is that, let's say if a million people play the thing, right? Wrong numbers, skew, I'm just making this up. A million people play the thing. Well, let's go out like 10 people, right? 10 people play, that's an easier number. Now, since we're only on like day two or three, only the psychopaths have finished, like Xerxes, so there's like one one person out of ten that's finished it so the market really hasn't been affected now and then in the coming days i think that like maybe six to seven will finish and then by like by the last day ten people will finish so then the market will start to flood in it if enough people actually started doing these and finished them this thing should these players should come down quite a bit which is what i'm kind of hoping for because they are auctionable as you see george kittle 752 so he's already coming down he was 900k joe thomas is in the 700 range julius peppers 
Then we got Randy Moss, 850. Like, come on. You can, you can easily tell, 940. Randy Moss was a million coins. So was Aaron Donald. They're coming down. Dion's still above a million, which means I probably made the good choice with Dion as my power pass. Seems to be the most expensive. So if Randy Moss gets below, like, 700 something K, I'll probably end up buying him. Now, guys, something that I've been doing and sitting here hoping for, it's my little, my little prayer. I sit here on US Series Redux and I just refresh a cap value all. And I wait for a snipe. I've not found one yet, but it's kind of something that I've been trying. If you guys have enough coins, you might want to try it. You never know. You can really get a great, a great, great, great snipe out of these. But it's kind of it's hard to get because not many of these are posted per hour. It's not as much as like a base lead or something. So it's going to obviously take a lot more time. But overall, guys, what I recommend you buy the Redux today. If you get a great price, like if you get like a price that's like a 10% undercut on the market, maybe. But I think I'd wait a little bit longer. I feel like... They can't go up that much more, and at, like at worst case scenario, they go up a little bit, but I doubt it. And at best case scenario, a lot of people actually did do this house rules, and everyone starts getting their rewards in, in bunches as people start to start finally get to the finish line of this, and these cards start to come down quite a bit, which is where I think that Randy, if that does happen, Randy Moss could finish at around 700k, uh, George Kittle could finish around 550, and that is when a lot of these cards will actually be worthwhile. And if they really, if EA is really feeling nice, they'll kill the, they'll kill the Redux even a little more in the next coming weeks. I can afford another one. But guys, that is about it for the video. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Turn that notification bell, boys. We are 500 subs away from 12K, boys. So make it happen. Everyone watching right now, hit that subscribe button. Same as the like. Everyone watching, hit that subscribe button. Comment down below. Say what's up. What are you doing with the market? And guys, can we get 400 likes today? You guys killed the SD with 300 likes. 400 might be pushing it. But like I told you guys, everyone watching right now has to like it. If you don't, we'll never get to it. I, I, it's crazy. I love refreshing the video right when it starts and seeing all the likes just start stacking up. So if you guys just, if you, all you guys watching, just hit that like button. I'm promising you it happen. Every like matters. But guys, I'm out. See you guys in the next video. Peace.